Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm homeschool mom to three. Today's video is going to be a math lesson with Apologia Math 5. I have already filmed one of these videos, but I really wanted to film today's because it is a unit project and a really fun one that I think you guys would love to see. And it gives you a little bit of an idea of what kind of projects are inside Math 5. Today's project, Lacey gets to actually build a balloon car. And that is like the end of the unit wrap up for her project and we are excited about it. So let's go build a balloon car. Straw access. Easiest way to cut a skewer is to score it with scissors or a knife then bend it to break it. Fifteen centimeters. So we need a marker to mark it. So that they are 20, 20 centimeters long. Thread them through the straw axles. The easiest way to cut a skewer is to bend it and break it, is to score it with scissors and knife. Okay, it does. <laughs> it works way better than I thought it would. Alrighty, next step. Step four have a parent with the knife. Okay, and then let's test out to make sure the air actually goes inside. Like, the air is like not going in the bowl. <laughs> I just want to try. Yeah, see it's leaking out the top. Did you encounter any issues with the design of your car? Yes. What were they? The straw kept getting like bent from like one let any air through. It kept leaking and the wheels kept getting all wrong. How do we fix that? We fix the wheels. Um, do you have any ideas for an even better design? Not really. You think that that design works really well? Oh, you know what we could maybe do? Make more air to make it go faster. Do you think if we put, see these people put more straws? Do you think if we put more straws, it would make it faster? Um, uh, I don't know. Because it would have more air? Or it would just make it go far, farther maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Or what if we had two balloons? So if we had one straw out and then another balloon with another straw? Like like almost like two engines. That would probably go pretty fast. If we did that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us try to build a balloon car. It was a little bit finicky. We had to troubleshoot a little bit, try it a few times, but we did finally get it to work and it was a lot of fun and we felt really proud of ourselves when we finally got it to work. So thanks for following along while we did a math lesson today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.